Hi, people. All right, you all started the session fighting the Flying Fiend and his three human minions, seemingly starting by focusing on Riala, the holder of the shield. Uh, took a few hits before Riala took to the skies as well. A few of the minions died, and Lethedra climbed a tree, jumped for the Fiend, and grappled it to the ground, taking a fall of 30 feet. The Fiend so used the spell to escape from Lethedra's grip and disappeared from sight, leaving a scorched arcane sigil in the ground in its wake. Seeing the fate of his group, the one man left attempted to flee before Lethedra grappled, and the group beat him to death mercilessly. Manu and Lethedra tested the fiend's soup. Manu found nothing odd other than disliking meat. Lethedra slurped up a human finger and found them poisoned. The group decided to travel oh, yeah. an hour down the road so as to not sleep amongst the bodies. On reaching a new campsite, Riala asked the shield about the group and it answered her saying uh, to seek they seek to capture it again and hide it away Ray offered to cast identify and revealed the voice inside to not be either deity deities it was a pit fiend by the name of Gorgoth all along a pit fiend sent to the material plane to wreak havoc gaining a bit of a following he became so powerful uh, to nearly be a demigod Gargoth promised that if the group brought him to the Nine Hells, he would grant them whatever it is they decided. Desired. Philaster got the group through the gates of Candlekeep after a little monk tomfoolery. Uh, he led them up to Silvera's lab, where she explained she had been suspicious of Thavius Krieg for years. Manu presented the box, and she promptly snatched it before asking if she could open it. The group agreed. Silvera opened it for the group, revealing Thavius Krieg's contract to Zariel. When El Turil was under an undead siege, Thavius made his deal to secure the Companion, the shining light over El Turil that kept the undead away. For 50 years, the 50 years is over, and El Turil has been taken to Avernus as the deal ended. Silvera asked if the group was intending to go after it, saying she could organise their transport there now, securing transport from a wizard that owed her a favour named Traxagor who was also looking after an ally that had experience fighting demons and devils named Lulu. Silvera led the group to Griffins, and he set off. Ha <coughs> <coughs> ha! <laughs> we landed at the top of the tower, right? Yeah, so to, to reread what was said... Uh, Silvera ushers you to a crescent-shaped landing platform with a stunning view of the sea. Waiting this view you... is quite stunning. <laughs> you guys notice? Silvera says, yes, uh, yes, it, it is a stunning view of the sea on this crescent-shaped <laughs> landing platform. <laughs> uh, <laughs> waiting for you atop this platform are several griffins with saddles, their handlers standing nearby to help you. The Griffins have instructions to fly to Traxagor's tower," says Silvira. "Don't, uh, don't, don't worry. It's perfectly safe." Ray's just gonna hop on one without question. That's the spirit. Everybody else. You seem like a trustworthy person. <laughs> Hell yeah! Sure, why not? I will hop on whichever Griffin Ray is not on, since Ray is still carrying the shield. Yes. The other one. Well, they did say several. I thought there was only two. <laughs> several. Cool. I'll hop on one of the other ones then. The Griffins take flight and head out to sea, flying just below the clouds. Candlekeep looks no less majestic from the air, but grows smaller as the Griffins soar westward. Large, rocky islands pass below you, and beyond them lies the open sea. After a long journey, you see a windowless, doorless stone tower, which somehow floats in the sky ahead. The griffins pass through jagged holes, riddling the tower's conical peak to land on the top floor below, which has a spiral staircase leading down. And we're just going to hop off once they landed and just head to the stairs and wait for everyone else. Yeah, I guess if the stairs are the only place to go. Well, I mean, if you want to jump off. 
That's the only other way to go. If you I want. can fly, bitch. How far down is it? Uh, the tower <laughs> many. is amongst the clouds. Many meters. Many feet. Mm. Into ocean. <clears throat> Are you sure? Let's hit the ocean or what? What can go Either wrong? We're dead. practically gods. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so you're standing at the top of a tower with nothing there except for a staircase leading down. Yeah, I, like I said, I'm just waiting for everyone else. All right. I'll uh, head down with them when they do. I will head down uh, as soon as I dismount. I'll start making my way down. I assume that we are expected to being uh, trusted and um, uh, yeah, trusted envoys of uh, the state. She did say that they've been sending messages back and forth between each other since we got there, so... Also that. I'm gonna dismount and follow Barney. Uh, as soon as you're all off the Griffins, they all uh, take flight and start heading back the direction you came. Seemingly uh, like running and diving off the edge. Uh, and a few moments later you see them all like, glide upwards and start flapping back towards Candlekeep. It goes our way off this place. Yeah, you done fucked that one up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Could have just kept one. Uh, as you, my keys. <laughs> as you start heading down the stairs, uh, they are just smooth stone stairs. There's no crease or anything anywhere. One level down, you see a cluttered chamber illuminated by various objects upon which continual flame spells have been cast. Scurrying around the room is an otter dressed in a tiny cossack, cassock. The otter mumbles to itself in common, mentioning something about a tuning fork. Suddenly, it takes notice of you and stands upright. Lulu, wake up! Our guests have arrived. At the sound of her name, a small elephant with golden fur appears from under a pile of blankets near a table strewn with alchemical equipment. The elephant takes to the air on feathery wings and lets out a pleasing trumpet sound. Ray is staring at us like, what the fuck? We're dead, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> is anybody else seeing this? Because I feel like we got a hit over the head with something on the way here. I, I feel that, but... Uh... Yeah. First devils and now otters. That is what Lulu looks like. Aww. A holy vent. Let's hope Lulu doesn't end up the same as the cat. Well, it won't meow at least. <laughs> the uh, the otter with his cassock says, uh, Well, haven't you ever seen a winged elephant? No. I can't nope. say that I have, no. Peculiar. <clears throat> yes, you are. I don't think there's anything peculiar about my appearance. You Forgive are me. an otter. I misspoke. And I prefer it that way. Okay, that's cool. You must be the ones that Silver sent. I assume you yes. want to go to Avernus? Chase, chasing after a city or some such, I hear. Want is a strong word, but quick. that is the plan, yes. I just need to find my tuning fork. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely around here somewhere. It's probably with your tuning spoons and tuning knives. <laughs> Very funny. That's pretty good. Boom. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. I'm you just gonna to a... ignore the fact that he's an otter that's talking in a top and just try and help him. I guess. He can make a just, just perception ignoring check. the fact. Hmm. You perception. Make a perception check. Everyone can make a perception check. I will help. also. Assist. Ah. Not bad for the first roll. Wow. Okay. Alright. Mm. That's a good start. 
Yay! Hey. I see many things. I found the tuning spoons. <laughs> I found the tuning for knives. And what about the tuning tuning um teaspoons? Or soup spoons? Steak knives? Uh Riella, you find yep. a clear glass bottle and as you pick it up and shake it around, you see the body of a dead sprite being flung around mercilessly slapping against the glass. <laughs> I'm just gonna like wow. very quickly put it back and hope no one saw. Uh, we all saw dear, that was ruthless. <laughs> Riala, what the fuck? Um, was it dead before Riala got a hold of that? I'm gonna assume it was and no one can tell me otherwise. <laughs> yes, it was dead, that was a prank. We fell. I don't have Double. very much to do here. <laughs> uh, Lysedra, you find a tuning fork. Jeez. Oh, hey. Was uh, 16 the DC? I found some metal sticks. Nah, it was just whoever got highest. And whoever oh. got the lowest found a trinket. A trinket. But you don't carry around glass bottles with dead sprites in them? Square. Uh, apparently <laughs> not. <laughs> ah! Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, so yeah, it is a... Uh, like a rugby goalpost shaped piece of smooth metal. Uh... Uh, Traxigor, the otter, takes it out of your hand. And you need to clean up more, I found trash. He says, uh, everything is exactly where it's supposed to be. Except this tuning fork. Uh, on, and he takes it and, uh, like, dings it, like, uh, taps it against the table and puts it to his ear. And mm -hmm. as he does so, the sound that comes out is a faint, low scream. Oh, that's fun. And he says, uh, that is the correct one. Okay. What the fuck? I am excited. I'm like going to swing it over to man and like, if you're finding this weird, then yeah, it's definitely weird. <laughs> I, I thought I could handle anything, but this is... I don't think your manistic way is actually you. If it makes about you feel stuff. any better, Ray, you spent the last, like, two weeks with a giant cat. Giant cats I can take to Maxis. I've never seen this, so first time for everything, I suppose. When you say first time for everything, are you insinuating that you will have no you and no? I was that's no. I was going to say <laughs> whatever it is you're suggesting, no. <laughs> Just. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> I have done my job. Damn it, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you've creeped out the warlock. <laughs> Congratulations. I am very confused. Can everyone make a animal handling check? Sure. Uh, uh, sure. I can do it, but. <laughs> Whoa, fuck what the yeah. fuck? Jesus! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 20, yep. 22, 21, 19, 19. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm amazed it's just... Mm. Riala. That's spread, guys. We're all fucked up yeah. for this. <laughs> you hear a childlike voice inside your head that says, You are my new best friend. Can I tell where it is coming from? Or if it's coming the from... The shield. <laughs> <laughs> it is coming from the flying elephant. I'm going to turn to them and say hello. Lulu, I take it. I cannot believe you know my name. This is so amazing. Riala, why are you talking to the elephant? Because they talk to me first, it's only polite. Is this a full-sized elephant? No, it is I very so small. So. It's very <laughs> small. Okay. Aww. It is about the size of a basketball with wings. Oh, now it's even more cute. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying we could probably beat it in a fight? <laughs> God damn it, Manu. Uh, 
Uh, it has 15 Manu, cast of you here. I would like to see you try. <laughs> hmm. I used to fight demons, you know. I too have fought my internal struggles. It's <laughs> the monastic way. And this is me saying it, so I feel like that's something. I'll be Not that I understand that. A different door. I think you need to learn how to use your in oh, inside yes, I your head voice. <laughs> I thought it was in my head. <laughs> That is my point. We can uh, we can test out your strength if you like. Hell yeah! <laughs> All right, and All right, Traxagor almost on cue clears out uh, with the the snap of his tiny little paw-like fingers. Uh, the room uh, it seems like everything in the room is pushed out of the way, uh, but the actual boundaries of the room expand. Excellent. And uh, it seems like the boundaries of the room shift so that exactly Manu and Lulu are in the center. This right. should be entertaining. Oh, Nothing above the belt. You ready? <laughs> <sighs> oh my god, they have a map for this, or is this just a generic No, nah, this is just a generic one. Okay, cool. I was going to say, that's... And there's Lulu. Aww. Who's my manager? Where's my corner? Ray is You're right up in the corner. She's just sitting back and just... Backing away. I'm no part of this. Manu, Manu, you're so fine. You're so fine. You can... Do it. Kill her. <clears throat> you can beat this one. Go Manu. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. I was trying to select my character, but I was just drawing all over him. Right. <laughs> You do you, my friend, and you take your rent. I am sure that he does. Aha! <laughs> Frequently. Mana, you do have inspiration. Ooh, is excellent. that the monastic way? Is that a 1d6 it is on... monastic way. 1d6 on an attack roll or ability? Just the one? Yes. Does it work for saving throws? I don't remember. I don't think so. Yes. Maybe? Don't think Maybe. that that was will make. I know a it's not ability throw. check. You're not gonna have to make a saving throw, so you're fine. <laughs> you say that, but <laughs> all right. Ray's just Time like moving in way back. Fact checking. Just give that a little bit. Ability of the, uh... check, attack, roll, or saving throw. Yeah, there you go. So functionally check? everything. Uh, the twenty fours hit. Excellent. And, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to do that. What you got, punk? Yeah, about punch it in the, punch it in the nose. As you punch it, uh, you seemingly knock it out of the air and it bounces off the ground and back up to the same height as flapping his wings at. And you all hear at the same time, Haha, this is so much fun. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have just encountered a legendary beat. Can you make <laughs> a you constitution saving throw, please? Can I? <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm taking lucky, motherfucker. Your you also have inspiration. About to come out through your oh yeah. Uh, uh, I'm going to do the lucky again. Ooh, and then I'm going to do the, uh, the D6. <laughs> <laughs> just blow it all. We won't need that in in Avenus. Aha! Seventeen. Sorry, it says seventeen. That's the DC. I was gonna say no. Still failed. Uh, Lulu bouncing off the ground uh, raises her very small trumpet up in the air, and all of you, uh, your ears start shaking. And you start ringing. You all like clasp your hands to your ears to cover. Uh, Traxagore like ducks under books. You like picks up two small books and put them on either side of his little uh, <laughs> ears. Uh, and seemingly, the uh, the heavens open up. And no, I didn't mean to press that. <laughs> uh, Don't worry about it. <laughs> and Stay out of this. What seemed to be clouds start forming at the roof uh, and thunder starts crashing all around the room. 
You wow. take. Oh no. See, this is where being able to hear how many die dice are being rolled right now would be nice. You take 11 thunder damage, and you are mm -hmm. deaf for one minute. Get fucked. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm what? <laughs> I, so that's how time's going to be here. <laughs> as, uh, as you start clasping your ears... Um, you pull your hands away when the, the sound of thunder uh, starts to die down. The clouds that seem to have formed at the roof uh, start to dissipate. And uh, Lulu does a barrel roll in the air and says to Riala, Oh my god, this is so much fun. And shoots uh, out of her fun. trumpet a rainbow of sparkles. Oh no. How much Yay! damage do I take? Need to make another constitution saving throw. Fuck! I mean, ah. Oh. Uh, uh. That's not good. I was gonna say, you're gonna burn him? You're gonna burn him? I can't. I, I, I mean, I can, but. You can, but then you won't have him for later. When what? it's serious. <laughs> as, the, as the sparkles rain down on you, um, it's essentially like death by a thousand cuts. They all burn. As they touch your skin, uh, all the sparkles uh, explode in like smaller showers of radiant sparkles. So this is so why Christians are so scared of rainbows. You take 24 radiant damage. Ha! <laughs> that's... I'm unconscious. <laughs> that's, that's the rest of your health, my dude. <laughs> and uh, Lulu uh, starts to as like As soon bounce. as Manu falls, just applause. I'm applauding. Golf claps, everyone. Lulu's uh, like wings stop flapping in a um, in a, like a stunt she seems to enjoy, where she herself like stops her flight to bounce off the ground and then comes back up and starts flapping again. Is that like but... an outro to a fight scene or something in a video game? Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah, that, pretty much. That's the RPG just finished thing. And, uh, <laughs> she flies, she flies over to. Like Clapping Riala and says, uh, well, we, I thought it was, you guys would be a little bit stronger going to the Nine Hells, but this should be fun. He's a special case. Ray's gonna spend a time. very, very special, special case. Just to say the right thing. His monastic way is weird. Oh, it's uh, so weird. If anyone wanted to help him, you can now. Uh, that. That fight's over really before it started. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you want to use the resources? I, look, now? I'll walk over and I'll give him one of my healing hand points. Aww. And, he uh, has one hit point. Traxigor, <gasps> uh, like, claps his little paws together, and the room all at once closes back to its original size, bringing all of you in at the same time. <laughs> And track score says, uh, "Well, have you you had your fun? Uh, is, do you want to? Does any, anyone else want to have a shot at the small, adorable elephant that's got, you know renowned for fighting demons? Did I win? No, no, not uh, even close. I, I was uh, close. At, I could feel it. You coming back to consciousness? Uh, Lulu lets out another small, uh, like trumpet of sparkles. Uh, these ones don't hurt anyone." And you hear, you definitely did not. I uh, I bow, but I but I had fun, uh, and the Lulu like in response to your bow, like lilts forward. She says, uh, "So, so uh, yeah, if, if it's all the same with you, I'd love to come along to to Avernus." Really. Just oh. you saying proficient in demon fighting is enough for us to say yes, because we're not exactly. What are you talking about? We've killed a whole bunch of demons. We killed devils. They're kind of different. Oh. One devils, demons, demons, I've, demons, I've killed them all. <laughs> we would be honoured to have your help, Lulu. And she does a black flip. And uh, uh, that's racist. A black flip, eh? <laughs> yeah, black flip. 
What is the difference between a backflip and a backflip? One looks cooler? Yeah, if you have to ask, yeah, okay, you don't even know. Yeah, L in it. Oof. I never claimed to be cool. <laughs> Not once. <laughs> uh, track school says, uh, well, uh, well, uh, I need to get started on this spell. I assume you'd want to leave as, as soon as it's done. Uh, it'd probably be done in the morning if, if you'd all like to stay in my tower. As a matter of fact, I would love to have a sleep. <laughs> well, it's it's Funny very stuff. late at night. Most people do. Oh, so I, I'm, I'm myself am well, yeah. well past my bedtime. But... Yeah, you're just so because sorry. I because I owe a debt to Silvera, I will I will do this spell for you. And Riala Lulu says, "Uh, yeah, if uh, if you want, I can I can lead you downstairs to some rooms." Oh, we are gonna have so much fun! A mm -hmm. dim tracks at door's bed. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure. Oh, yeah, I'm positive that's gonna go well. Yep. So where is it? Just down here. Yeah, Luli starts flapping off down uh, oh, another set of stairs. Uh, the set of stairs that you look down at uh, seemingly are endless. Uh, you start walking for about 5-10 minutes and it seems to be an endless corridor. And Riala, you hear, God, I, I knew the door was around here somewhere. And she turns around and you all turn around and what used to be upstairs is now a door. And she says, there it is! And opens the door of the trunk, and there are some modest rooms with beds enough for all of you. My brain hurts. Nice. Thank you, Lulu. <clears throat> I think I have a concussion. This doesn't yeah. make any sense. Mage no, it's just mage towers, I think. So, why are you all going to Avernus. Not not a lot of people go down there. Uh, it's like a holiday. Just having... I'm bored, mostly. Yeah. We misplaced a city. Oh, oh that'll hey, happen. Hey, 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 hey. We didn't do shit. Fine, a city was misplaced. Thank you. And from the goodness of our hearts, we're gonna go find it, apparently. Eh. From the goodness of our potential wallets. Seems Who's likely. paying us for this? We literally, like... Who won't be paying us for this? We're bringing back an entire city. Someone's gonna pay us. I'm gonna slay a deity. Okay. Good luck with that. After you just the... got your ass handed to you. <laughs> After the show... couldn't even be the elephant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what I'm doesn't kill sure. you makes you stronger. Probably. Are you a Saiyan? <laughs> do you feel strong right now, or do you feel like you have a concussion? I feel like I'm stubbing my toe away from passing out. Yeah, get into bed, oh, yeah. Hunter. I'm gonna collapse on a bed. Sideways. <laughs> uh, as you all... I assume you're all settling into beds? Yeah, I'll grab yep. a bed. Uh, uh, two things. Yes. Uh, firstly, uh, I will take first watch because as much as these people are very lovely and the elephant is very nice, I do not trust them and I think we should definitely be taking watches. But I will take the first one um, uh, for you guys. <laughs> I say openly to the group. I'll take the one off to you, Bonnie. Okay. Uh, and too the careful. second thing? Um, well, if that is all good, um, I have something to say with Riala, but if she's going to be taking over me, I will talk to her at the... All right, so you all settle down to sleep. Uh, Lulu flies down towards the Riala's bed and rests at the at the base of it. Uh, Barney, your your pass uh, your watch passes without anything of note happening. And eventually Riala gets up to take over. Um Riala, um could I have a question? Sure. I, in the display that was uh, downstairs, uh, 
before. Um, our friend got handed his ass handed to him by a very small, very cute elephant. Um, uh, not the longest fights that we have ever seen. Um, it may actually be one of the shortest. I, it lasted for about 10 seconds, I think. Yeah. Um, so it had me a little bit worried about, you know, where we are going. Uh, you know, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I, I am under the impression that I am maybe one of the only healers here, but uh, when I have healed uh, the party members, uh, they haven't seemed um, thankful. I, I guess you would say. Uh, I, 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 I don't understand this. Um, I, I am healing the way that I was I was taught um, by my uh, tutor, I guess you would say. Um, I think it's and, just a cultural thing. Um, but that is okay. I, I, I noticed when you healed um, our weak little friend, uh, you you just touched his shoulder or something? Yeah. I mean, it, it just requires a touch. It's not really picky about where I touch them. And you don't have to, like, t touch the wound or, or anything like that? No. And where did you uh where did you learn this uh this Well, my magic isn't particularly learned, it's more instinctive. Oh I, I oh okay, I, I see. Do should I try this? I mean I've I've healed for many, many years, but I have always you know, um, if it's like a stab wound, I have to start from the inside and work my way out. I mean, <laughs> it, it can't hurt to give it a try. I mean, I know Lethedra at least is a little bit picky about her personal space. I which figured she just didn't want healing. Part of the um, issue. I... It's, I think they're used to a different kind of healing. A, not, not kind like of different potions? way of healing. Um, it's, it might be a cultural thing. Uh, the healers I've known, uh, heal like I do, uh, magically at least, with a touch that doesn't discriminate on where, and you don't particularly have to touch the wound itself. In fact, a lot of healers I know advise against touching the wound because infections and all sorts of things. Oh, I see. In the uh, tribe when we grew up, um, if you wanted to see the healer, it was because you were very, very badly hurt because it would hurt a lot more going to the healer. But, I mean, you wouldn't die then. So, I mean, you would go to see the healer okay, on the occasion that you had a you know, snake bite or something like this. Um, I, I don't see anything particularly wrong with your way of healing. It has a certain amount of logic to it. Okay, uh, I, I, I will I, try this. I don't this. think it's the cultural thing that the rest of the group is used to, is all. I will try this um, other healing, and um, I will I will see how this goes. Thank you. I wish I, you luck. Sorry. I, I, I'm going to go to bed. It's, my eyes yeah, by, are just glazing over. It's been a long day. And I roll over. <clears throat> I'll take my watch. Can I have everyone roll constitution saving throws with disadvantage? Riala, you can roll one with advantage. Uh, wow. Uh, okay. Cool. That didn't help. Got 10, 13, 4. Manu. <laughs> oh, hang on. I'm going to use Tides of Chaos to reroll mine. Wow. There we go. I'm going to use Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I mean, you might as well at this point. <clears throat> Ray and Lysedra, can you guys, can you both roll again? At disadvantage? Yep. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Hooray! I'm uh, fucked. Riella, uh, whether you're, like, sitting up on your bed keeping watch or kind of, like, walking around the room, uh, one thing you notice is the little tiny basketball-sized elephant with wings uh, starts, like, thrashing around on your bed. Ray. I don't know. You dream of standing next to a large, uh, larger-than-life character, uh, huge radiant wings, uh, like, spring out of its back, and a gigantic sword. Next to her is a giant tiger, uh, roughly the size of, like, a small building. Uh, you see them assembled with a, an army uh, radiating uh, this beautiful white and light blue light. Uh, and in front of them is legions and legions of uh, demons and devils. And they charge. Uh, you see them uh, tear forward, uh, like just mowing down devils uh, with ease. Um, and as the large tiger and the uh, like winged figure uh, like take a moment to look at each other uh, two or three as you look around it becomes four and five uh, six of these uh, other arcane figures approach this larger figure with wings and start hacking at her furiously with their swords uh, the everyone else turns and flees, um, but the wing figure is too weak and is captured, held down by devils and dragged backwards. Uh, the winged figure throws a sword forward, and one of the uh, one of the masses captures it, runs forward to the tiger, and says, uh, "Please, you have to hide it." The tiger runs off, uh, and you cut to uh, just standing on this hellish planescape. Uh, the sword is nowhere to be seen. You get a, a sense of triumph that it's that it's been hidden, uh, but you can't see where it is or anything like that. Uh, the the earth doesn't look tilled or anything. The the sword is just gone. Uh, and the next thing you know, you see uh, is the ocean. As you plummet towards the ocean, uh, and on what would be your impact, you wake up with a start as everyone else wakes up naturally in the morning. And also you're all level five. Hey! <laughs> Finally! Oh. <laughs> I could Give cry. Give that sweet, sweet little <laughs> free spell. Most importantly... What the uh, just... fuck was that? Do, 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 that is fucking terrible. That's... I think that's the worst one I've done so far. Uh, Man, I was hoping to break 50 this level. Oh, well, uh, level plus Pantomancer. There we go. Uh, oh, while God. you'll do that, did you want to take a break? Or do you want to do well, it, I'll then take a break? I was going to say, can we do it, then take a break? Because I can't have a smoke and do it. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> My sadness. Um, bum, bum, bum. What else do I get up here? Extra attack, fast movement. I get 7 Still extra plus three, XP. Plus, three. plus you can. What you can. But, um, yeah, HP 7. That's I just rolled the thing over yeah. there. Yeah, you but what's your, modifier? what's your constitution modifier? Uh... Zero, I think. It's because you a... add your con to whatever you roll. It's a one, so it should yeah, be... constitution is one. Yeah, so you get so an you eight. So you get eight instead. Okay. Of... Yeah. Oh, best guys, guys, guys. I try to get as much of that guys. dream as possible, but I didn't get all of it. It's alright. It's recorded. Thank Thank you. You.
Lethetra. Lethetra. I have extra attack. <laughs> You're so excited for that. Yes. You know how good my fucking attack rolls have been lately? I've functionally doubled my damage. <laughs> Anyone having any issues with leveling? No. no. I'm pretty just, good. I was gonna check. I'm just trying to figure out a new invocation. My my fifth level's easy. I get extra attack. I get proficiency bonus one up, but that's it. There are so many good level three spells yes. that come with SRD. Level three is a good is a good point. Third spells are third level spells are good. It's a, it's a good jump. Right. From second to, to, to from oh, second to third. I could just take Fireball right here, right now. Exactly. <laughs> because Ooh. level five is when you get access to Fireball. <laughs> what are you saying, person within Fireball dif di distance? Oh boy. Excellent. Stunning strong. Just make a nice change. Oh yeah, right. Stunning you get stunning oh. this. Alright, y'all, I will be so back. Good. I don't have my headphones with me, so you're just gonna have to deal with the fact that I'm not paying attention. Fair enough. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, Goodbye. Bonnie, Goodbye. do you know what spell you're taking? Uh yes. What is it? Uh, it's a utility. Is it counter spell? Is that a level three spell? Yes. I just sent you a list of all the bard level three spells, Barney, as well. It should have been counter. But alas, I have chosen, and there is no possible way of deleting. <laughs> I hope it's plant growth. <laughs> or stinking cloud. Well, uh... I mean, I can... I mean, will do me great, great things in hell. To be fair, a... I can walk across lava with water walk. I just take fire damage. It's a very small spell that um, I can cast as... I could take haste. Oh, do it. And cast it on Lethedra. Just, no, haste monk. Like, always haste monk. I haven't been haste monk, and I'm really sad about it. That that spell you chose is actually probably a really good choice. <laughs> right? I'm like, it'll either be really good or just kind of be wasteful. Everyone right. needs to be non-detectable from now on, now and again. Yeah, dip, a, dip a level into wizard. Ooh, I get level 3 spells. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go have a smoke, guys. Me too. Uh, anyone watching, we'll be back in about 5-10 minutes. Bye. You'll wake up. It's the next the next morning. You're all fully healed up. All have all your spell slots back. Lulu is flying around Riala's head. Uh, Does she what? seem okay? Uh, yeah, she's doing her normal barrel rolls and whatnot. Round two.
<laughs> nope. Uh, Lily says to you, Riala, if, if you're all ready, let's go. I think we are. Let's go find your friend. Yeah. And travel to hell. She uh, opens the door and leads out, as you all, uh, again, it's just a, a long staircase leading down. Uh, as you close the door behind you, uh, the door and the wall around it disappears and it's just a staircase leading up Lulu says come on and starts flying up the stairs I will follow what flying? sure fuck it why not yeah flying she has very <laughs> little legs she's not walking upstairs I meant Riala but okay. <laughs> I'm not using my radiant soul on some fucking stairs I'm also oh, flying <laughs> you defeated my stair riddle <laughs> After about 15 minutes of climbing upstairs, seeing nothing, uh, a door seems to, like, apparate out of nowhere in front of you all, and Lulu says, ha, there it is, and opens it, and you're back in Traxagor's lab. Uh, this time, uh, the room is the same size as it was last night, um, and seemingly everything has actually been pushed back haphazardly, and there is a large arcane circle uh, glowing a light blue in the middle of the room. Uh, yep. Traxagor is standing in the middle of it with the, the tuning fork in his tiny little paws and says, uh, well, uh, when, whenever you're ready. This is still weird. <laughs> this place is weird. Don't be rude, Bonner. Operating doors and everything like that. All right. This I is suppose... this is a, a wizard's tower. Wouldn't... Yeah, it still gives me a headache after some time. No offense. It's nice, That's because but... you can't comprehend it. I can comprehend enough. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. I didn't okay. think you could. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> All right. Does everyone have everything they'll need in help? Yeah, I feel very good after last night's sleep. I feel stronger, you know? I feel invigorated. I feel like I could cast many spells. That's good. Like That's the attitude we need. Twice instead of once in six seconds. And <laughs> Ray, you hear in your head, all I need is the new friends I've made. Let's go. <laughs> all right. I step forward into, Help. or closer to the cycle, or through the cycle, or if it is there, I'm walking through it. Yeah, uh, the tiny little otter paws usher you towards him. Uh, as you all step inside the circle, uh, Traxigor taps the tuning fork on the floor. Uh, as he does so, you all hear again just like a... And you're all whooshed away. Fun. <laughs> uh, you all are seemingly uh, like sucked through uh, like a large chasm through the floor. Uh, oh, yeah, there's baby. darkness. Uh, what seems to be like stars, like bright lights off in the distance, like whizzing past you. And eventually, you all come to stand on a floor. A hot, stinging air assaults your senses. The city street in which you stand is lined with buildings that are crumbling, if not already collapsed. The ground shudders beneath your feet. In the red, smoky sky, a 400-foot diameter sphere of darkness discharges strokes of bluish-white lightning that strike the city at irregular intervals. Perched atop a distant bluff overlooking the rest of the city is a crumbled fortress. Traxagor gazes up at the black orb nervously, utters a few arcane syllables, and disappears in the blink of an eye. There goes our ride. I'm pretty sure if we need to get back, our little flying friend here could get us in contact with Traxagor. This is true. I don't know why you'd think that. I have no <laughs> means of communication. It was a hope, but... 
I'm sure we'll figure it out. Oh, we'll die, and we won't have to worry about it. I mean, we're already in hell. How much deeper can we go? Copy this. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> another eight levels down. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it can't get any harder, can it, then? Why you gotta say things like that? Because I can. <laughs> Sick to change the map. Jesus. So it's a little bit on fire. I don't know if you noticed. I'm sure it's fine. That there is where you are. I expected it to be a little livelier, I suppose. Ray's just gonna start like wandering a little bit, meandering a little bit, just looking around the area. Yeah, it is seemingly abandoned. Uh, around. Okay, next question. Yeah, uh, there are doors kicked in, windows smashed. Uh, there are corpses littering the streets, and all around the city, uh, these large steel, uh, what can be best described as anchors, uh, looming over the edge of the city, uh, with large chains coming down, seemingly holding the city in place. Massive pythons, uh, like nailed into the, the side of the rock of the city floating above the ground. Look, the Thedra corpses. Aren't you going to loot them? I'm going to send bones up into the sky. Me. Wait, I haven't resummoned him, have I? No, you haven't. I haven't resummoned him since the fucking Kestrel took him out. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> um, bed. the fortress that you can see, uh, like looming over everything else, it's, it's higher, a uh, higher elevation than the rest of the city is there. I suppose the fortress might be a good place to start, maybe. Mm. Be a good vantage point, at least. Well, vantage point if there's the any anchors. survivors, maybe they've holed up there. That's a big if, though. Yeah, it's a starting point, at least. Do you want Shall to start we? heading in that direction? Sure, I would like to keep an eye out for A, any signs of anyone alive, and B, anything very unfriendly towards us. Same. Uh, I can give you, you a mean advantage everything? on everything? Yes. Yeah, just basically any forms of life. Yeah, pretty much. I think we should just go home. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> How would you suggest we do that, Manu? Um, the only way to go home is to get this job done. Hmm. Well, lead the way. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna be aiding Real in the perception, I suppose. Unless anybody else has got a better score. My perception is great. I have perception. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, whoever wants to roll it can roll it with advantage. Uh, um. There you 18, go. 18. I'm just gonna roll it because I want to look around. Yay! Uh, where you are currently? Uh, there is. I mean, there's no one to be seen. Uh, the streets are completely empty. Um, as you start to approach a corner, you hear a loud uh, scream and cries for help. I'm gonna head for that. Yeah. Do 
around the corner. <laughs> uh, around the corner of a still standing structure runs a woman with two toddlers, one on each arm. In her wake amble three infernal monsters with glaives and snake like beards. The fiends are laughing darkly. Oh god, these guys again. It seems fine. I want to go help them. Could be a trap. We should punch them first. I swear to god, Mano, if you punch a toddler, I will actually kill you. <laughs> Whoa, if they make any sudden movements. Uh, the woman is uh, fleeing into the street. Uh, she sees you all and still running away from you. Just screams, help! Help! And keeps running. Uh, the three are chasing after her. Can I throw a chill touch at one? Elvis Blast. Yeah. Uh, so, as soon as I get two beams now, do I roll it twice? Yes. Awesome. The 23. 17 and 18. Uh, they both hit. Oh, I should roll your damage first. Uh, which one are, are you attacking? The closest one to you? This one? The front one. Yeah, yeah. I would have just attacked the closest one. Raise drop uh, bombs. 15, 24, 32. Uh, necrotic and force. Yep. Uh, you. Oh, fifth level, it's 2d8. Yep. Cool, so that's an extra four on mine. Mine's uh, still as one D ten plus five. Yeah, I'm... but you get two casts. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I'm just I was just I was just looking through things. Yeah. Uh, as as this bearded devil rounds the corner, uh, and is just this onslaught of magic, uh, it gets sent back into the pile of rubble into the street. Uh, and the three of them all, uh, as the, the first one writes itself, the three of them all face you. Uh, they all have grins on their faces, and they start approaching. Yeah, that's new. Now we're going to roll initiative. Yeah. Fuck me sideways. Wow. Jesus! Wow! <laughs> I am fucked. <laughs> it's fine. All right. The uh, the bearded devil that you shot at. For reference, this is what they look like again. Nasty fuckers, yep. Tentacle face! To be fair, last time we fought one of these, we kind of coup de grace him in his sleep. <laughs> yeah, he got real fucked up. <laughs> he did not get to get up. Hmm. The uh, bearded devil uh, takes one step sort of into the street. Uh, looks at the group of you and looks at the woman and takes another step and skewers one of the toddlers out of the woman's hand. Wow. Uh, Jesus. Fuck. Picks it up like it's a fork and the, uh, the spines on its beard uh, attached to the uh, toddler's corpse. And you see, even from as far away as you are, uh, the life essence gets sucked out of this toddler. Okay. Barney. Hello, friends. How are you? <laughs> uh, 
Ai, o quê? Um, ok, 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 ok. Do I know these guys are here? Ah, uh, yeah, they're, they're in plain view of everyone. Ok, ok. Alright, because that's not a wall. I would like to... You would like to what? Sorry, you cut out. Just uh, reading the spell for the first time. Centered on that point, must make a constitution saving throw. I would like to cast sh at the third level. You'd like Shatter. to cast what? Shatter. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, I don't have that spell anymore. Why is it still there? What? It still had Misty Step on there for some reason. Yeah, you've got to delete it off. Yeah. Do I care about yeah. the innocence? Huh. Spare them the blood. <laughs> <laughs> you could move it over one block and still get all of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do I care about the innocence? Who would have thought? And just laugh in the background. I was like, yeah, that's, that's a clear sign of no, you don't. I would like to cast Shatter on these guys. Uh, they all need to make constitution saving throws, and I'm casting that at level. You cut out again, right at the end. You keep I'm cutting out at the end three. of your messages. Casting it at level three. Are you using push to talk? Yep. Yeah, let go of the button slightly later. <laughs> Alright, so the one feasting on toddler is a six. The next one moving away from him, 21. And the third one, 23. Uh, so these two here, I assume save. Yeah, DC 15, they save. Uh, this damage. one, feasting on the toddler, is completely effective. Yeah, it's half damage. Uh, so 13... So... 7... 6 points of damage for the two that's... And 13 for the other one. Uh, and they will end my turn. The bearded devil closest to the lady uh, falls to one knee. Uh, the toddler falls out of its grasp and falls to pieces and is carried away like dust on the street. Yes. I about to say, how's that toddler doing? Not great. <laughs> Riala. Feeling good. Rather poorly. Uh... <laughs> I am going to I'll step up a bit further so I have a clear line to these dudes. You whip out the fireball already? I don't have fireball. Oh, that sounds fake, but okay. <laughs> uh, I am going to cast a fire bolt at this dude. I'm going to spend a sorcerer point yep. to make it thunder damage instead of fire. Ooh. That's, That's nice. that UA shit. Roll your d20. <laughs> Twelve. Alright, now make your attack. And firebolt. 21 hits. 21. I believe I get an extra D10. <laughs> wow, cool. Four thunder damage. You see some of the barrels behind it start to quake. The, uh, the spindly beards quiver a little bit. Uh, otherwise they seem really nonplussed. That's fine. Lethedra. They want immune. Okay, so I would like to rage, obviously, and then I will new movement speed of T to there, and then feel an agility to double speed it, so that makes it eighty. Oh my god, I can move so far. The Thedra takes off like a It was a 50-50 whether I hasted you last turn. I chose not to. That's fine. 80 feet 
on a turn is days now. Do I want to go? I'll be close enough. To this one. Yep. And I'm gonna hit him twice. Hopefully. Um. And they're gonna be reckless. Well, the first one's gonna. Can I do reckless for both? Nah, the first one's only reckless because you can only do it on the first attack. Still though. And there's a 23 on the 23 first one. hits for sure. And the second one's a 17. 17 hits. Uh, the first attack will probably do it though. Yeah, the first attack does it. So can I save that second attack for a second burst? Yes. Because I still have. Uh, how far did I just move? I think it was 65, which means I still have 15 feet. You rush forward, bring down your axe feet. on the devil's uh, head, and the skull splits in two, uh, and a pool of black ichor starts uh, spilling into the street. And then I move a little bit over here, and I'll use that second attack on that guy. Do you want to roll it? or? No, you can use the 17, it still hits. Sure. Damage. I can still get three more points out of that, my dudes. Uh, is that your turn? Uh, yes, that's it. That's bonus action, action, and a moment. So All right. Uh, you rake the blade of your axe uh, against its uh, flesh, carving a, a large chunk. Uh, out of one of its arms. Uh, it raises up its glaive to swing back at you. Uh, 12. Nope. And uh, with the momentum of the swing, it's going like, to lunge its head forward and mm -hmm. the uh, spines on the beard are going to reach out to grab on you. Okay. Uh, that is 24. Nah. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. I'm okay at this. See? Yeah, that Wait. passes. Uh, you take four piercing damage. Oh. As the, uh, as, yeah, as one of the, uh, like, tendrils on his face wraps around, you just yank your arm back. And the uh, the piercing damage is more from the yanking force than it is the, them I piercing just your flesh. At him. Manu, both both smiling at each other. <laughs> All right, I hmm. man, when I'm raging, I should just double down on the cat on the angry cat noises. Uh... Ooh, I can make that. <laughs> I thought you were a giggling rager. Yeah. Gave up on that? Pretty much. <laughs> That's fine. I am going to triple punch it in the tentacles. <laughs> the tentacles? The tense yeah. tentacles? They're the or ones. The, 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 the dangly ones. Oh, wait. Oops, there's a roll advantage. <laughs> Can we just right. first? Yeah, so uh, the 13 doesn't hit, but 23 and 27 do. Ooh. 21. Jesus. Blackjack. 21. Uh, as you punch it, us us, uh, you get the sense that your uh, fists aren't affecting it too much. Unless, oh. at level 5, you got magic fists. Level 6. Level yeah, six. No, but oh, bad I, luck. I use denial and still feel completely powerful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that your turn? That is my Super turn. Effective. Thank you, yes. Uh, the bearded devil is going to do the same thing to you, Manu. Uh, swing its glaive and then with the mo carry the momentum forward to try and reach out with its beard tickles. Uh, 18. Ooh, yeah. That's contact. Uh, lucky. 
Wait, can you use luck to make me reroll? Yeah. You can. That's that's why <sighs> luck is so broken. You can just use it on fucking anything. Yep. Oh, almost anything. Oh, wait, One more level, 18? and I also get luck. By 18. The way. No, that misses. <laughs> uh, I need you to make yeah, a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> okay. We all get luck. And we I was all gonna say so. So at eighth level, everyone's taking mm. lucky, right? I already get lucky for being a sorcerer. Yeah, but proper lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I get tides of chaos and luck. I find it hard. So to you take that it's exactly the six same. slashing damage. Then luck. And as the glaive passes through your arm, uh, there's something about it that's different. You've never seen a wound like this before. Um, but the boundaries of your wound uh, almost start eating the flesh uh, around it. Ooh, it's necro necrotic? Not yeah. that. Okay, Ooh. so it's not exactly luck. You lose two health points, two HP. And you lose two max HP. Oof. Oh, shit. Damn it, okay. I wish it was necrotic. So just make note somewhere of what your actual max is. Oh uh, yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then its beard lashes out for you. Nineteen. That hits. Uh, need you to make a Constitution saving throw, and you take six piercing damage. <laughs> you are poisoned. As it latches onto, as a latch onto your other arm, uh, you can just feel this hot, uh, like heat, fl uh, flooding through your um, your arteries. Uh, you can make that at the uh, at the end of your turns. You can make those saves again at the end of each of your turns. Okay. The woman turns around as the corpse of her toddler falls to the floor. She reaches down to snatch it up, and it turns to dust in the wind. Uh, <laughs> and she starts running, using both hands to cover the second toddler. She runs this way. Ray. Hmm. Uh, I shall move to about there, and I shall fire an eldritch blast at both of those. Yep. One each. Uh, 23 hits, 11 misses. 14 points. Uh, which uh, one do you first want to... one? First one is hit. First and second. Yep, so right, left. Again, uh, you see this one... Uh, you see this one pushed into the rubble behind it. Uh, it's a little bit slow to get back up and sort of rocks a little bit. Uh, that one's dead as fuck. Delete that. Barney. Hello. Hello. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, honestly, I think you guys have this. Um, I would like to... Um, Uh, cast Vicious Mockery on the uh, Spine Devil and uh, say, uh, Your beard, don't you know that uh, November finished like last year, last week? You, you, this is such uh, old fashion for you. You need to, you'll need to do better. And I'm gonna get a one. Hey! Nice. I did damage, guys. Maybe. <laughs> if he makes well. a wisdom. Depends on if you fail to save. Uh, really quick, because I've got Lulu. Oh yeah. Uh, Lulu. What will she do? She's going to uh, just just before Barney's uh, insults. She's going to lower her head and charge forward at this one, attacking with her tusks. Damn, Lulu's got some movement. Flying, she does, yeah. 
Uh, hit square in the chest for two piercing damage. Uh, yeah, so wisdom save. That was against this one, Barney. Uh, yes. The most unwise of them all. That is 14. Three psychic Yay! damage. Three psychic damage and disadvance it. I'm contributing. Oof. You did it. You're doing the boss I'm so proud of you. Uh, Lulu's turn. Sparkles um, or blasting? As a bonus action. Yeah. I would like to inspire Lulu. Uh, I pull up my lords and go, Lulu, L-U, L-U, Lulu, I think you are adorable, and I, I... <laughs> that was a good pull. I like it. It's a long walk. It was a little bit of a long walk, but I'm I'm with you for the with, with you for the trip. She's uh going to take uh, a, f a flat forward uh, and raise her trumpet up in the air. I don't know which one I want to use. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. No, no. Instant flashbacks. <laughs> Everything needs more pingo. <laughs> uh, sparkles. I like sparkles. Uh, she blows a trumpet. A, again, a rainbow of sparkles. Uh, shoot out. This time, in a 30-foot cone in front of her. As they <laughs> rain down. I like Lulu. Uh, they both have to make constitution saves. Seriously, rainbows are a hell of a weapon. Yep. Uh, one passes, one fails. For 48 plus 4 damage. Ooh, that's a lot of ones. <laughs> it's 48 and it's 1, 2, 1, 1. Wow. So nine... That's some brutal shit right there. Nine radiant on that one, five on the other, and uh, Riala, you hear? I'm having the best time, and that's the end of her turn. Lethedra. All righty. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I think I'll just continue wailing on this guy first off. Let's just do one. Reckless again. Oh, eh, it's too late now, but I forgot to ask if you did advantage on the attack that you did to me straight after. Because I did Reckless. <clears throat> no, but it's fine. Yeah. And 18. Uh, 18 hits. That is max 19. damage, my guys. Jesus. <laughs> you, uh, as the, uh, and that's the one in front of Lulu? Yes, the one in front of Lulu. As uh, as they both start swatting at these like colourful, bright sparks that explode off their skin, uh, leaving bright red welts, they, they try to like pat them out and swat them out of the air with their glaive. Uh, one, the one in front of Lulu turns, and you cleave down on its head, carving he its face off. He walked into my great axe. Uh, to be fair, I was aiming it for him. You you <laughs> slice off his face. Cool. There is a uh, a skull and a pool of black ichor that just starts spraying out before he drops dead. Cool. So now I can do my second attack on the other one. <laughs> oh god, no. I don't see that movie. don't it's talk a bad to me movie. about face off. <laughs> <laughs> and this one's normal. I have an yeah, entire folder in my movies folder that is just Nick Cage movies. Oh, I well. I don't have them because they're good. That, guys, that there. Eight when I'm raging is minimum damage. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> the last one I rolled a 12, and this one I rolled a 1. Um, yeah, that's me. Got my bonus, but I'm not 
do anything with it. So laugh maniacally. Riala. A bit. <laughs> take another step forward, and I'm gonna just take a page out of Ray's book and fire two Eldritch Blasts at the remaining dude. That one definitely hits. The second one does not. Barely. And it's nine force damage. Nine. Uh, moving forward, would anyone like <laughs> to control Lulu? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, she said I was the best friend. That sounds fake, but okay. Has everything set up? Why have you got everything open? That's so messy. <laughs> you got every category and subcategory open. So I can see if things important. <laughs> uh, so it should to be in your fair, journal. Does that make it they open by default. Yes. Um, before you go too nuts with it, there are some things I'll have to explain to you. Okay. But all of the attacks in the attack column work. Speaking of the journal, though, guys, guess what? We're on chapter two. Yep. I was just about to say that. We, we got out of out chapter two, one. Time, and now we're into Elthrell's all fucked up, yo. Uh, he's dead as hell. Manu. I am going to take three attempts at ripping his chinticles off. Oh, yeah, baby. They all hit. Oh yeah, baby. AC 13? Yep. Jesus. Uh, oops, those are crit ones, my bad. Yeah, so j just click them all again. Uh, Alright, so... Alright. Wow. And the crit... Thirteen. You manage to rip off three chinticles. One with each blow. Is he dead yet? No. He has a lot Can more I... chinticles than that. Damn it. He has a whole beard of them. Uh, what, what did you want to try? <laughs> I was just going to use a key point so I could get one more swing in and slap him with his own chinticle. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that if you want. Hell yeah. Taste my chinticle. No, taste your chinticle. I mean, <gasps> technically it's his. Wait, what? <laughs> Who's tasting whose chinticles? He is tasting his own. Oh. As you rip them off, tie a quick He's knot, on, and swing them back at him, uh, you... Like, scratch at his face. There are, like, rivulets of blood pouring out of his face. He's still alive. What a dick. No, a chinticle. <laughs> and that's my turn. For his last turn, uh, seeing you okay. wielding his own chinticles at you, uh, he's going to attack you again. Uh, the glaive. 18. What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and need a constitution saving throw. While you take 5 slashing damage, you pass. And with his remaining tentacles, he's going to again attempt uh, 16. No. Right. The, uh, the woman is going to crouch down, performing, uh, making a protective bubble of her own flesh to cover up the toddler. The one remaining toddler she has left. Ray. Usual, double eldritch. 
up, up. They both hit. And that one hits it square <laughs> in the chest. Well. And that is one point away from maximum potential. You uh, Without hex. The first one hits it in the chest and just concaves, uh, sprays out the back. Uh, black ica everywhere, all over the the, the cobbled streets. Uh, as it falls, the second one hits it in the head, and the head evaporates in a spray of black ica. Gross. Yeah, glad I wasn't close to that one. That's done. Do you I like was. <laughs> I would like to go check on this lady. But not on the baby. <laughs> what baby? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> yes, I do have problems. <laughs> <laughs> We're aware. I can't hide from the stream and the VOD that I'm laughing to. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, that's messed up. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you approach the woman, she's just crouched down, uh, basically, like, enveloping the remaining toddler I inside the mass of her body. Um, I'll just walk up to her and, um, be like, I know asking if you're okay is probably a stupid question, but... Are you and your child hurt in any way? Uh, as soon as you let out a sound behind her, she's, she's, <laughs> uh, and she turns to face you, and says, uh, I, 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 I don't think so. It's okay, I'm not going to hurt you. We're hopefully here to help. Okay. We can't fight you. We'll, we'll, we'll come. We, we, we won't resist. We're not here to take you anywhere. We're not from this plane. We're not from the hell. Okay. We just want to talk to you about... about El Terrell. Any, anything you want. I'm assuming you're from El Terrell and got dragged down with it? Yes. Um, do you know if there are more people alive? Is there anywhere people are gathering? Uh, the, the High Hall. Uh, the, the, the Duke from Baldur's Gate. Uh, he's trying to get, get everyone he can there. Uh, she points over yonder to where you can still see that fortress looming over the tops of the buildings. Uh, that that would be the high hall. Okay. Why aren't you there now if you knew there were people meeting? She says, uh, me and my boys have been hiding in a, a tavern basement. Uh, I, I thought this might be temporary and there's plenty of food. Uh, but then, then we ran out and I couldn't couldn't let my my boys die. Uh, so we had to go get some food. I still have the one. Would you like some uh, double flesh? I could carve off a leg or something for you. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure that's safe for consumption, Barney. I think the better offer would be to maybe offer assistance to help her get there. Yeah, oh, we're that heading... Would, that would make sense. We were planning to head to the fortress. You're welcome to come with us. We can't make any promises, but we'll do our best to keep you safe. Uh, and Riala, you hear from Lulu. Uh, she, she can stick near me. Nothing can hurt her if she's near me. No, Lulu. Step aside. You I got to hear that. I heard it. Oh, wait, Not oops. you, honey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that dumb elephant looks like it's saying something. 
<laughs> that elephant that kicked my ass it looks like it's saying something. Oh, I can so tell it. Double up on the offer. I've, I've got instincts. I can tell when it's trying to show me up again. <laughs> I promise we're more capable than we look. Just. She says, uh, the, the, the city has been split in two where, where the river used to pass through. Uh, I, I've heard that this, this side is the worst side. Uh, I, I don't know. It's been about three weeks I've been in a basement. I, I don't know what to expect. Well, we're going to figure it out together. And we're trying to get, we'll try and get you somewhere safe. I, I appreciate that. Can I hold your baby? Manner. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Please ignore him. <laughs> he punches he... good, but I think he's first stalk better than his baby. I think he got punched in the head too many times in training. I'm a monk. <laughs> Yes, you are, buddy. Oh. <laughs> I, I need. I, need I just a get second. the image of like. <laughs> <laughs> I just get the image of like of uh, an image of Manu just like standing there, look, got eyes a little bit apart, and just like I'm a monk, and like somebody's just busy patting his head, giving him a cookie. Like yes, you are, buddy. Where he tries to put Magaka's <laughs> eyes facing forwards, and they just keep going back. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, as as you ask the question, uh, she she wraps. She squeezes gently the, the uh, toddler and says, I'm, I'm never leaving, letting him out of my side or hands again. That is, over over that my dead him. body, you can hold my baby. Don't take Manu, that, that is not an no. invitation. I'll be waiting. <laughs> wow. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Manu. <laughs> Fucking... Can we send him up front as a... Uh... Yeah, Manu gets to walk <laughs> first. <sighs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Everything is the best. This is the bad place. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> uh, before we go forward, do you guys want to take a quick five-minute break again? Uh, I've just yes. got uh, yeah, sure. I'll quickly run Riala through what. Uh, Lulu can and can't do. Well, if that's the case, I'm going. Essence. Hello. Hello. I did have a quick look over the stuff. Uh, so all of the actions and the class stuff works, like the aura of invulnerability, innate spellcasting, and magic weapons. They all work. Mm -hmm. uh, but Lulu has lost her memory. Uh, so, as far as spell casting goes, currently she can only cast a light cantrip. Okay. Uh, so, assuming you keep control of Lulu for the whole thing, uh, as mm -hmm. as the spells become available, I'll I'll let you know when they are. Um, okay. But for now, yeah, everything uh, on the actual sheet itself and light is what you can use. All right. Cool beans. Alright, cool. I will be back very quickly. Alright, just gonna take a quick break. What the fuck is wrong with this group? Alright. Um, uh, the woman's name is Harkina. And Harkina says, uh, if, if we're going to the high hall, you want to go this way? And starts walking down the street. Um, she sets off mostly just to give you guys a sense of direction, but quickly sort of slows down and lets you all uh, overtake her. She, she follows. What's her name? Mm hmm. Harkina. 
H A R K I N A. Should we trust her? She's been in a basement for three weeks. Know, I'm pretty like sure she's from night. the city and she knows her way around, even if uh, it looks slightly different because of the hellfire. Okay, okay. Uh, you start making your way through the city, passing uh, crumbling buildings. Can I have everyone make a dexterity saving throw? Is this an effect that I can see? Nope. Damn. I will tide some chaos that. I get nothing. Nope. It's fine. <laughs> the, uh, as, as you start making your way down the street, uh, you'll start to feel uh, rumbling through the ground. As you look around, the uh, the pillars anchoring Elturel uh, start to lower, and the chains get taut, and it the, uh, seems to be pulling it closer to the surface. Uh, with that, it causes an earthquake. Uh, buildings all around you start to rumble. Any sort of remaining windows start to smash and uh, glass starts to rain down on all of you. Uh, Lethedra and Riala, you both fall prone as the, uh, the rattling just makes you uh, like slip and lose your footing. <coughs> this is no time to sleep. Get up! Uh, Harkina says, that's, that's been happening every few days. Is it pulling us further towards hell? Is that how this place works? Uh, seems to be pulling you closer to the ground of Avernus. And we came right into the city, right? We don't see what's underneath the city? Nope. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, after, I'm gonna uh, pull after myself a, up. After a few moments, the, the shuddering <clears throat> stops. Uh, the chains uh, stop being taut and fall loose with a like a uh, like ear ringing all around you, uh, like ching 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 ching, and they fall loose again. Uh, off in the distance, you can hear like something crumbling as the chain falls on top of it, uh, and everything settles back to where it was. Uh, after. Sort of 30 seconds of, of the relative peace, Harkina like stands back up and says, uh, yeah, no, this, this way. Uh, and starts edging closer. <laughs> she says, uh, we, there's, there's only, with the river gone, the, it's Elturel's in two pieces. The bridges are still standing, but they're the only way to get across. As you, uh, a bridge sounds like a good place for an ambush. It's a pretty big gap too. Uh, you round a corner, you can off in the distance. Uh, you can see the bridges, um, but ahead of you, uh, seven ghouls walking the street. help if I change myself to that map. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Uh, can I have everyone make a perception check, please? I see nothing. I see lots of things. <laughs> Fucking five of perception, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the ghouls, as you approach, uh, they seem on, like a head-on path with you. Uh, they seem to be uh, like stopping to look inside buildings. Uh, yeah, it's safe to assume they're probably looking to eat. Uh, Harkina just kind of lets you guys move forward ahead of her. Uh, perceptions... Oh, Lethedra. Yeah. The one at the back seems to have actual armor on. 
uh, and a large backpack. That one. Yep. I'm gonna just zoom that out so I can actually see a bit. There we go. Uh, you can all move a bit closer as well. I've set up all these encounters on the same map, so you can all reset yourself wherever you'd like to be. At the back of the group, because I was talking to something. At the front, because meat shield and bait. Yep. Barney is consuming Harkina. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I knew it would happen. <laughs> that was... That was quick. <laughs> Half walks, man. Corrupting influence in this place works fast. You can, um... Yeah, you can, uh, is everyone happy with where they are? Um... You wanna move Lulu? Like... Yeah, I'll probably move Lulu. Be about that. Hakina won't be that far back. She'll be there. Wait. Can I get like an action before we uh, approach? You got about three seconds I... before the just starts charging in. <laughs> I was about to say, if we can do something I've before be initiative starts, I'd like to cast Mage Armor on myself. Mm. I'll say no, because uh, as it's unavoidable, uh, the two lead ones hear you, uh, see you, uh, and they all. Uh, as they just let out, and all the rest turn their heads towards you. Oh. The oh. one at the back pulls out two daggers. And now we're going to roll initiative. Fuck me. Kill. Shit, okay. Do I just... Oh, there's the initiative button. Lulu? Oh, Lulu! Wow. <laughs> this is going great. I was about to say, you're, you're on one, but not Lulu. Yeah, yeah, I think I has still had me clicked. I, do I was going to say, which token did you have clicked? That. There we go. Change Lulu to one. The, uh... uh... Did Lulu actually get a one? Yeah. Oof. This is fine. It's alright, I'm not as though she's carrying the party. I was gonna say, she, she's just, you know, she's just gonna be the ringer. Uh, the Pulling two back. on what would be your left side, just start charging forward. Uh, in a, like a frenzy, just rushing straight towards whoever's closest. Uh oh. <laughs> 30. As far as I can go, Ray. Two Eldritch, because I've got 120 feet on them. Wait, is that close enough? Oh, fuck yes. You get to join in the back. Thank you, fine. Oh, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll hit both of them with Eldritch. Yep. Nope. Yep. Uh, 11 just misses, 20 hits. Cool. Uh, that's the one in the front then. Hooray, their AC sucks. Uh-huh. You uh you just you let loose your Eldritch Blast. Uh one of them goes spiraling off into a already collapsed building with a puff of uh smoke and debris. Uh, the other one shoots forward and blows off an arm from the ghoul leading the charge. Charming. Did you wanna move at all or stay where you are? Um might move till Uh, the next lot, they also just charge straight ahead. 
manu. Hmm. I open my robe and lay face down in the street <laughs> in attack mode and heal myself for 15 damage. Face down in attack mode. <laughs> And you oh, can you make a no. constitution saving throw first? Yes. <laughs> Alright, you can heal yourself for 15 damage. Oh no. Uh, where do you get 15 from? Like, what, what uh, ability is that? It is... It is... No, not that one. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> been waiting for a reason to post that. <clears throat> Wait, no, I don't have holders of body. Why am I laying down? It's sixth level. Fuck. <laughs> so you are uh, prone in the street. You focus <laughs> intently, and nothing happens. Shit. I better take that health away. <laughs> I reached for too far. <laughs> All right, so starting again. What would you like to do on your turn? Monastic now that I've oh, God, thanks. <laughs> I gonna get straight into it. And uh yeah, get in it. I'm going to attack both of them twice. Uh so the first two hit on the red and then yeah. And the other two on the 20, blue. 25 hits on the blue. You, uh, you essentially pound this thing into a pool of ichor, the flesh sloshing away under the raining blows of your fists, and you start to round on the second one uh, with a couple of blows before your turn, before, uh, your turn ends. And my turn ends. Both the green boys charge forward. This is fine. Sure. Riala. All right, I'm going to move forward about here. I'm going to look at Lethedra. I'm going to say. You're gonna have some fun, my friend. Oh, yes. I'm so excited. I will rub my hands together, and I will cast Haste on her. Yes. Nice. Yes. So, okay, so you're gonna you have, to have here, I don't your speed exactly. is doubled. You gain a plus oh. bonus to AC. You, you have, have advantage no on deck saving throws. I absolutely do. And you gain an additional action. Which oh, you can I only use it. to attack, dash, disengage, hide, or use an option. So how much does how much is added to my AC with that? Two. Cool. So in conjunction with feel and agility, my movement speed a potential of 160 feet without yeah. dashing. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun. Oh, I don't go four attacks. <laughs> Is that your turn, Riala? That is my turn. The ghoul in the back starts looming forward with his turn, with a dagger in each hand. 20, 30, straight forward. Barney! Yes. Um, I will be honest, I do not think that these guys are worth our time, but okay. Um, the only pathway ahead, unfortunately. This is true. Um, I will walk forward uh, 30 feet. And then... Um, 
Yeah, no, I'm just going to say to this fellow, Oh, you think those are glowy eyes? I think that it would just keep me up all night if I was sleeping with you. So, you know, you are not not that nice. Burn. <laughs> I mean, they're already burned enough. They are in a bonus. Hey, is that nice? Nice. Yeah. I think that's the first time that's ever happened. Oh my and god, and, and it failed. <gasps> I'm really doing things. <laughs> <laughs> We're so proud of you. You're doing it, Barney. <laughs> but seriously, worst insult. <laughs> this is what turn? makes it even better that it did max damage. Answers. Yes, that is the end of it. Lysedra, finish your runoff. <laughs> How do you want if, to it make, if it makes you feel any better, there's six enemies and I only have four attacks. <laughs> so, bonus action rage. Mm -hmm. That's important. Okay, then I'm just gonna do 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 do. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's start here for now. Oh, actually, I can get to there with three <clears throat> and do an attack on that one. At advantage because of flanking. 21. 21 hits. 11. Uh, 11. You cut off one of its legs and it's hopping around furiously. Another one on that guy then. It's just a flesh wound. 24. Yeah, hits. that hits. You finish it off. 13 damage. Cool. All right, moving on. <laughs> Another 10 feet, and you'll just start on this guy. Do, 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 do. Attack. Oh, 12, 12 hits. Wait, yes, I was going to say that still hits. Yeah. 14 damage. You uh, slice into its waist, uh, nearly cutting it in half as it uh, flips over, like the uh, flip top man. <laughs> and is still clawing at you furiously. Oh, some of a bitch. Alright, hit, hit him again. Twenty-seven. Yeah, you just kill him. Yeah, that's max damage. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and I moved eighty, then ten, so that's ninety. So I've still got fucking heaps. So I'm just gonna slip in between there, and then there, and then behind this guy. All right, I'm good. Lulu. And Riala's is just watching all of this and is like, "My work here is done." <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> this is exactly uh, why I wanted haste. What would you like Lulu to do? Oh yes, Lulu's turn. Um, what's her movement? One hundred and twenty. Jesus. I was gonna okay. Say, quite far. Yep. Functionally forever. Cool. Yeah, Lulu is gonna come up here to this blue one, yep. and can we? Actually, if I go here, I'm gonna do a trumpet of sparkles. Uh, so, Constitution saving throws. DC 14, yes, and it should get both of them. They both fail. Okay. Um... Uh, 48. Ooh, 22 plus 4. Uh, so 26. That's, that's exactly their health. <laughs> <laughs> 20, 26 is how much health they have. Also, if they're uh, evil, 22. they have disadvantage on the oh. saving throw, by the way. Oh, I didn't even read that. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> I could have fucked Manu up way quicker. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, where, uh, where before, like with the uh, bearded devils and uh, even the fight with Manu, the um, the sparks kind of let off tiny little explosions that left sort of very small red welts before they uh, set off and, and fall to the ground. Uh, these ones are like, like gunshot wounds as they just <laughs> rain down. Uh, there's not there's not little explosions of of sparks as they contact. 
there's just explosions where their flesh used to be. Go Lulu! And they both eventually fall to the ground. Wow. I love Lulu. <laughs> At the top of the turn order, I need Lethedra to make a dexterity saving throw. You have advantage. I can see. I already have advantage, so it doesn't matter. Never mind. 19. Alright. Which is lucky because that 4 is a nat one. <laughs> <laughs> as, uh, as before, uh, where the ground started shaking, uh, this time. There is a the sound of very large like rumbling, uh, kind of rocking everything, and then the companion lets out a uh, bolt of blue lightning that strikes the ground in between the ghoul uh, the ghouls uh, where Lethedra is. Fucking rude. Big in the special effect, by the way. Fuck <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Lethedra, you take four uh, lightning damage. Two, three, four, yep. And they both take nine because they fail. Ah, uh, get wrecked. Nerds. You can see in front of you where uh, you, you feel some of your fur stand on end. It's more like a, a static shock. <laughs> the uh, the two ghouls have like entire halves of their bodies charred. Uncomfortable. Uh, both the blue what? boys are dead. It, what it was my. Hey, wait a second. Yeah, it was. It was before me? Yeah, it was Ray's turn. I was like, hang on a second, what? I just yes, I just, just keeping you on your toes. <laughs> Making sure you're so, paying attention. Totally didn't forget. Um, I'm gonna double elder to the uh, the orange one. See yep. if that works. Sixteen hits, twenty-one hits. Yep. Man, force damage works on pretty much everything. It's great. Sixteen damage. Yep, that definitely kills it. <laughs> yes. Uh, Lethedra, because I wasn't paying attention and realized that you moved so close to him. You can see that given that all the decay on this ghoul's body is horrendous, uh -huh. and for whatever reason it seems to know its way around daggers, the armor it's wearing, the leather armor on its body, is immaculately clean. Huh. Uh, you get a second to... Not anymore, it's not. <laughs> ...look at this as its eyes shoot wide open as it's facing you, and it turns on the spot, and you see directly between his shoulder blades, a large cavity, and it falls to the ground. <laughs> He's just standing up with her hand out and just like, oh. Uh, <laughs> just like a slight struggle, like, sorry, didn't see you there. That guy. Now it's Manu's turn. Don't worry, Lethedra, I'll save you. And I jump in and strike three times. On the orange one? On the, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this right. is some Doom 3 corpse uh, disappearing bullshit going on here. Mm. <laughs> they yeah, despawned. Uh, 26 and 12 hit. Pop, pop. Uh, and true to his word, he uh, comes forward doing a, a, like a flying double punch and dives through the, zon the ghoul. Flying double punch. He just punched a hole right through that guy. Like a, like a jumping <laughs> Superman punch. Two punch! Like it all came out in one big chunk. <laughs> Damn it, I still need to watch Kung Pao again. It's like his stomach plug on the ground over there. How does that even work? Bones and stuff. Alright, thank me later, Lefedra. <laughs> And we are out of initiative. Uh, no more combat anymore? This entire game? Awesome. No, I only said initiative. 
Yeah, and you said we were out of initiative. It's like, hang on. Wait. Alright, after a minute is up, you are pretty much stunned for a turn, Lethedra. <sighs> is that le good, good lethargy Stunned hits. for a minute. No. No, it's that. a turn. It's a round. Oh, sure. Okay. <laughs> you fall forward on top of the ghoul in front of you. <laughs> uh, you can see this guy's carrying some kit. Ooh, Ooh. well, I'm down here. <laughs> <laughs> you are groggily. Um, gonna... Yep. Come forward. I was about to say, like, I'm going to walk forward with the civilian yes. and I'm going to cast Detect Magic at will because I have Eldritch Sight. Yay. Be like, well. That spell worked a lot better than I thought it would. The armor illuminate and a small vial on his belt illuminate. Ooh. Ow. Yoink. That vial. <laughs> Yoink that vial. Yoink. Tod toddler's tears. <laughs> Magic pocket. <laughs> the woman says, uh, why do you keep saying things like this? Whoa, sorry, I forgot you were there. He has problems. <laughs> Uh, what am I putting in my inventory for this vial? Vial of X colored liquid? Vial of. Is anyone gonna. Uh, I'll say silvery liquid. Silvery. I'm gonna try and yank the armor off. Liquid. Put a. Yeah, put, put, from... put ghoul belt or something. So I can yeah, I just a... put. I just put vial of silvery liquid from ghoul. That'll work. And I'll work Yeah, we're totally not gonna run into any more ghouls. It'll be fine. Uh, you take the armor off. It is some um, really nice-looking studded leather armor. And it's light armor. Studded leather is light armor. Yes. Sweet. Sounds about right. Take I shall that for an identifier later on. Yay! Light armor. It's the only type of armor I can use. Would you like me to Actually, identify it? You Wait, know what? You don't take ten minutes for that. I could cast a spell. I mean, <laughs> if you're willing. Yeah, sure. And while that's happening, I'm going to do my tried and true method of. Oh no! You're going to taste. I'll stick my finger in it and taste it. Do it. I look on in interest. <laughs> You're gonna taste the ghoul? No, 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 the liquid. <laughs> the the juice. Silvery, the vial oh, with the silvery the liquid. The ghoul juice. The, the thick juice. silvery ghoul juice. Yeah. It's mercury. <laughs> it's mercury. It's viscous. Oh, I wish I thought of that before this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was it that you were looking at me identifying? Was it this? The, the leather armor studded stuff. And like okay. Ray's just holding it up for a second after like pulling it off. Uh, I would like to. Probably a plus one. Uh, so I will uh, reach <laughs> out with my hand. Yeah. And um, cast my spell, and you see my eyes flash a different color, and a slight little spark uh, go out. Uh, to the uh... um, oh, this is uh, this is a very nice armor, um, uh, very very well made. Uh, it will uh, keep you uh, well protected. Eh? Is it a plus one that I guess right? Yes. <laughs> Did he actually just, identify just, the just, armor? Just out of character. Or is he pulling some bullshit? Nobody I mean, knows. I sent Barney. I sent Barney the <laughs> card. I wouldn't put it past Barney to be like, yeah, I'll identify it. Not and then he's like, someone losing just, shit. Because they just do prestidigitation to make some effects happen. Yep. <laughs> That's some fucking arcane tricks or rogue shit. I have to take a few pointers from you in the future. I have to take fucking ever to identify things. So, <laughs> it's, it's definitely. Well made armor that'll keep you safe. So what is this potion? Uh as what you does it do to my do to my face? Dip your finger in Analyze. it. Uh you I assume put the fingers in your mouth. 
Sure do. You all look in horror as <laughs> Lethedra takes a small taste of this potion and akin to a Assassin's Creed character model glitch, half of her <laughs> face vanishes. Okay, I'm just going to change that title to Vile <laughs> Potion of Invisibility. It is a potion of invisibility. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's very disconcerting, Lethedra. There is what? one jaw visible. Uh, like the actual jawbone itself. Uh, and a faint transparency uh, following the esophagus. Why are you all looking at me like that? Um, is there a glass nearby or something? Replacing? Because I can't see my face. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna poke. Wait, no, no, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna, face I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring. The shield over it, and I'm gonna pull it open a little bit and just show her reflection. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And just let her recover back on back. Huh. Would anyone be interested in the studded leather armor? I can't I can wear, it wear it. I can wear it, but I actively don't want to. I can okay. use it recreationally. <laughs> uh, no, let's go with actual usage of her. I was gonna say, so it's either you or Bart. I think, but I think Bart's gonna wear light. He should be able to. I can wear light. Uh, however, I am. I like my dress. I am. I feel it's a very nice. nice dress. What's your What's your AC again? Uh, my AC is like seventeen or eighteen. <laughs> Gee, hell yes. I'm 12, okay. Yeah, I've got more AC than you. Yeah. And I don't wear armor. Okay, fine. <laughs> Thank you, Marty. It's okay. But I, I care what about you. And my constitution adding to my AC. <laughs> it's always fun. Plus occasionally a haste spell. Yes. So we got a potion and some leather armor. Yar. Uh, the no, ghoul also has bridges. an explorer's pack, if anyone is interested in taking it. What comes with that? Uh, <laughs> Backpack, bedroll, mess kit, tinderbox, torches, rations, water skin, hemp and... And a hunting sure. shirt. What think. about batons? No, uh, that, no that's, that's a Dungeoneers. Dungeoneers pack. That's a Dungeoneers pack, yeah. Oh, snap. And the reason why I know all that... I have one. <laughs> yeah, I think I I've took got the explorer's the... And I think, it's, I think it also comes with javelins, or is that might have just been me. I don't know. That might have been... That would be a background yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. I got the Dungeoneers one, so I got the Pythons. Hell yeah. Yeah, I've got an explorer's pack already. <laughs> I have claws. <laughs> uh, do we want to end the session there? I mean, seems like a decent place to end. Yeah. It. How much longer does everyone um, want to keep could... playing for? I, I was about. Mm. To... It's not wise for me to keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> but you want to. But I want to. Think of how many more inappropriate baby jokes you could tell this woman before Don't the end of the session. Don't encourage him. <laughs> <laughs> Those are Please. jokes. I genuinely wanted to hold her baby. All right. <laughs> It's just poor timing. Let's say just really, really. Okay, and the toddler's tears. What the fuck is wrong with this group? No, that that was a joke. <laughs> that exactly. one was a bad joke. I just forgot she was there. Uh, I will end it with so you guys, uh, like approaching the edge. Uh, like I said before, you can see in the distance two bridges. Uh, does anyone want to look down? Yes. 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 Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> Just so use just use the hemp and rope tied around something, tied around the arm, and just Look, leave. If I fall, I can fly. The rest of y'all are on your own. Cool. I take reduced fall damage. Not from the side. Depends on what's underneath you. Also, yes. I was I was I was just gonna fashion like the hemp and rope around a post or something like that, just wrap it around the arm and just lean over a little bit. I mean, you could just look like a normal person. Oh well, yeah. Uh, it depends on what the edge is like. Yeah. Whether it's sloped, has some. Damage if it's is unstable. Flat, then I'll just use, look at it, not like it's not like it goes straight down like a cliff. It was a river. True. Looks pretty cliff like now. Uh, so beneath you, uh, you can see 
the plane of Avernus. Uh, very similar looking to the map that you were all given, which is this one. Yeah. Can we figure out where on the plane Elturel is? Uh, from this distance, no. Okay. But you can notice that the large spikes where they meet the ground uh, seem to be dragging El Terrell directly into the river sticks. Well, that's fun. Neat. Uh, as you look over the edge... Hey, look, Lethedra, the river's made of lava. <laughs> we don't have time to get to that. <laughs> but how oh. does it work? <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, Mine just gone... Oh, let's find going. out together. You can also hear oh. the din of uh, combat, uh, like swords on armor, uh, shouts of various languages, uh, and you can see legions of demons and devils fighting across the plains. Not my party. And yeah, that sounds like a them problem. Like... Yeah. <laughs> Look at the overlords. I mean, so our, uh, our new leaders. <laughs> this bug thing looks kind of fun. Frankly, <laughs> frankly, so if I only you could see overlord, overlords. If only you could see what all these things are named. That's <laughs> <laughs> sword in Ooh. the dirt. I read that book. I'm re sword in the dirt. Read that book. It's Beezlebub. It's Bill Zabob. Thank you. Uh, the L is before the Z. My name's is Bill. Oops. But you can call me Bill. <laughs> wow. Wait, have you guys not seen that one? Or I literally couldn't hear you properly. Um, I'll send it through. Oh no. Mm, concern. So that's a milestone, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> because, if, because if I level up again and take E, I can see fine details a mile away. I just read what this is fun, really geez. quickly. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. What is? The overlords. Yeah, the overlords. Um, I didn't notice the, f the floating masses before. Yeah, Should they're fun. I got a feeling that they're bad for our brains. Should be pretty fun. Mm, I don't know. That'll I'm sure it'll be fine. <sighs> totally. As long as I have you guys, I think everything will be fine. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna vomit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, okay. So yeah, with that, we'll end the session. Yay! Um, do I just... Put into my inventory, um, just like plus one yes, unattuned armor or something. Dotted leather plus one. You shouldn't have to. You don't need to attune to armor. Plus one. Oh shit. Okay. Not not just a base plus one, two, three. They're usually. You just good put to go. It on. It's just it, it, the it okay, yeah, I'll, I'll just... an equivalent of it's very well made. Off comes the cloak. Off comes the old light. leather armor. On comes the new stuff, and on comes the cloak again. <laughs> Ow. It's like. <laughs> It's like an Apple product. It just works. <laughs> wow. Wow. Is that how that works? I'm disappointed that you got a giggle out of me for that. <laughs> <laughs> Were you still recording? Yeah, Is that gonna it's be in the still board? live. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so now you can't hide your shame. Uh, so you, so you put the armor, armor on? on? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Get to end the it's session with a curse. Oh, you <laughs> serious? No, I'm kidding. It's plus one started leather armor. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like, oh god, don't tell me it's like I bound to me for life. Oh, uh, that would have been too good. And we don't have a cleric to help get rid of it. So just nope. drag, uh, drop and drag the started leather plus one? Yep. And select the equip button so it makes sure it changes your AC accordingly. Yep. Um... Where is... okay, there it is. 
Where's my old? There it is. All right. Uh, if anyone watching enjoyed the session, we do this every Monday night, 7:30 p.m. Hey, my AC is 14. Australian Eastern Daylight hey, Savings Time. I, I, I Hope you all enjoyed the session as much as we did. I mean, Have a good night, everybody. Eh.